<laughs> oh shit. Uh, hey y'all, Yeshua Hamashiach in my uh in my casa. Um in also my vehicle, you know, it's a little of both. It pulls double duties. Um <laughs> it is Senior Pat's uh birthday today. My brother Pat it's her birthday is today, and I wanted to just, you know, chat a little bit about Pat. Me, Papa said I could uh, wish him a happy birthday. <clears throat> so I'm going to wish him, excuse me, a happy birthday. Um, if it wasn't for Pat, well, if it wasn't for the Most High, let's let's start out with uh, with who the, all the glory goes to and who all the credit goes to is is the Most High God, which is Yahweh, me, Papa. But if it wasn't for me, Papa giving me me Pat, but me Pat as my birthday present, um, or <laughs> well, I guess it was he was my birthday present. But um, if he didn't give me Pat, um, it would have made my mission a whole lot more difficult. Um, I would probably say impossible. Um, <laughs> well, nothing's impossible when you have the Most High God. But without Pat Tillman as my um, you know guide, so to speak, and how to. And just the way he showed me how to be a man, how to be a human being, how to be, you know, kind, loving, just all these beautiful different things. And also how to be firm with, with your love and your uh, positioning and not allow people to take advantage of you. And when people, you know, show their true colors, um, to cut them off, you know. Pat was very good about things like that. He had, he had great boundaries. He had a great ability to understand what situations were and you know handle them accordingly you know regardless of the difficult nature and you know which it might be um marie shenton who is pat's um ex well you know his widow his murderer um not his ex anything she fucking killed him but marie shenton who was marie eugenie at the time um pat had been saving up when he was in college to he wanted to take marie to europe and uh Marie decided that she was going to, Pat wanted to take her first so that they would go together for you to Europe for the first time. And they'd been dating since, you know, whatever their senior year of high school. Not that it was, you know, it is what it is. Uh, like I've stated, I've never been a fan of Marie, but, um, now I'm absolutely, you know, going to take her ass out and put her in jail and all the other good fun stuff that I get to do. But, <clears throat> excuse me, but, um, Marie decided to go with all of her college friends, um, you know, about three months you know, before Pat was going to be drafted. I don't know the exact date, but it was very shortly thereafter um, that Pat was about to be, you know, playing in the NFL and whatever else. Um, and if he wasn't in the NFL, he'd have been getting a job where he would have made a shit ton of money either way. Um, but so Marie decided to go and Pat said, hey, look, if you go, we're done. Um, and she went <laughs> and Pat was done. Um, and then Mr. Eugenie, Paul Eugenie, who's a fucking rapist and a pedophile and somebody I'm going to put in prison and hopefully he'll be dead soon thereafter. Um, he decided to call Pat at my, at our, at Mary Tillman's house and decide to give some speech like Pat, like Paul Eugenie senior's fucking opinion matters. And still Pat was very young at the time, but <laughs> anyway, my mom goes, it's Mr. Eugenie. And Pat was like, I don't give a fuck. Um, anyway, she like was like, Pat, get on the phone, you know, so Pat gets on the phone and little, and yeah, keep in mind now in hindsight, it's really bizarre because all of these people are the people that killed Pat and tried to kill me. Um, but anyway, um, so the story just, it's not the same, but at the same time, it's good that I verbalized these things. But anyways, Pat was like, he just got on, he's like, yeah, how you doing, Mr. Eugenie? And he's like, and all, I, all Pat said was, yeah, none of your business none of your business yeah none of your business <laughs> none of your business thanks and basically just hung up the phone and i was like that's how you fucking do it um it was awesome it was so fucking awesome and then marie flew back groveling and uh you know i wish pat never took her but i mean i always i get it. everything happens for a reason but i told pat not to marry her <laughs> he's saying i know i know i know I know, but it wouldn't, you know, what would it have done? It would have just had him killed a different way. Um, he just wouldn't have been married to her when Kevin Michael Tillman set Pat up to be killed. And when his family set him up to be killed, um, you know, that that's the thing. I mean, 
one thing is for certain that I, I don't know if I'm the same blood as Pat from earthly blood, but I know I'm the same spiritual family for, as Pat because I know what he did for me. You know, Pat's my guardian angel, point blank, end of story. Um, he's the one that, you know, helped me unfuck a lot of things. Um, and again, I did a lot of that on my own. I, that's part of, you know, part of my job is that, you know, the glory goes to the most high God because he keeps all of his people protected and safe, um, even when they don't know it. But it's really crazy that it's Pat's birthday for me today because, um, it all started because of Pat, uh, this, everything, you know, my journey to stick up for the Tillman family or to stick up for Pat rather, cause Pat is the Tillman family, but my journey, um, as far as getting into this stuff and start taking on the Illuminati, the NFL, and all these giant institutions that are very scary when you're Richard Tillman. They were very, very scary. Now I just laugh at these fucking clowns and look forward to taking them down. Um, but it was all because of my love for Pat. It was all for, you know, just how I feel for him and what I believe he deserves as a human being and what he deserves as a spirit for the examples that he set and there were so many different ones that he set. A lot of people forget how young Pat Tillman was with respects to him going to college, with him going to the NFL, a lot of different things. But when Pat was a freshman in college, he was only 17 years old. Um, and when he was a rookie in the NFL, he was only 20 or 21. Um, 21, I believe. And um, so he was a very, very young dude that was doing a lot of different cool shit at a very small size. Um that people, I mean, just relative to what he was, you know, doing, but anyway, Pat Tillman is a fucking legend and I'm just so honored and he's here now. So it's weird to talk to him in a third person, but he is here, but, um, it's just a unique thing to think back to how this all started and how far I've come. Um, sorry, I get emotional. I don't expect, I just pop on these things. And, you know, Pat will always be my brother. Always be my brother. Um, he'll always be my guardian angel, too. And it's just a really unique thing to have, like, a brother's love ultimately lead me down the path of, you know, going after the most powerful sacks of shit on earth and taking them out for the baddest motherfucker I've ever met. Um, and obviously, Pat's opinion of me has changed drastically, which is a really neat gift. Um, if anyone that's a baby brother to, to someone that they like, love and respect, um, could tell you point blank, it's a fucking really neat thing to earn your brother's respect in a way like, you know, I have. And again, of course, I'm Yeshua Hamashiach. I get that. And, uh, I'm a fucking God and I'm a God who cries cause I'm a human being. And I'm a God that takes great pride in looking out for my brother and looking out for, you know, the things that I can look out for. You know, I take great pride in, you know, taking out Travis Kelsey and the, you know, the NFL and the Illuminati and all these people um, because they're fucking with my sweet divine soulmate baby. And um, I've had everyone else I care about compromised. Um, I've lost every single person I know. <clears throat> and so that's why I fight so hard for Taylor. Um, and I fight so hard for just everything I believe in. And I don't believe in it, I know in it. If I just believed in it, I would be dead already. Um, I know in it and the Most High has protected me this whole time. Um, the Most High looks out for me like nobody's business and I'm just so grateful for that. And it's just a really cool day um, for it to be Pat's birthday, you know. Um, <laughs> You'd think I have a case of the Mondays. I don't. I don't have a case of the Mondays, um, and my tears are just prideful tears. I'm just so fucking honored to be Pat's baby brother. I'm so honored to be the Most High's daughter and son. I'm so honored to get. I'm so honored to be Taylor's sweet divine soulmate baby. I'm so honored that she won't have to be, you know, deal with some fucking jackass, you know, social climbing pig like she is in Travis Kelsey right now. And I'm gonna save her from that. I'm gonna save her from all these people that are trying to fuck with my sweet little Taylor. Um, and for those that don't watch these videos, cause it's so shadow banned, Taylor Swift is my, I don't like to call her by her full name, but I do look forward to when she gets these videos and can recognize what's going on with respects to the NFL and the Illuminati and, um, and the United States government and who I am as all, you know, and just how all of her music is related, 
if it's not, she's, uh, she, uh, <laughs> Papa, he's like, it is, don't worry. Um, but I just, I look forward to when Taylor can see these and I look forward to where I can put these people in the, you know, in the body bags that they deserve to be in. Um, and, and just have people publicly humiliated in the way that they deserve to be public, publicly humiliated. Easy for me to say. Um, you know, I, I just, I, the fact that the like the FBI, which I've spoken on many times, and the CIA and the Men in Black, like I know they watch these videos, they watch them on a fucking loop, and they, you know, they're doing their thing, and they're doing it way too slow, in my opinion, and me Papa's opinion. Um, and I call judgment on you once again today, and again, it all all it does is accumulate. So, people who go, well, something should have happened. Well, the Most High will do it when it's necessary. Um, I obviously haven't lost enough weight. <laughs> I obviously haven't, uh, you know, gone through enough pain from my papa's standpoint. It doesn't prove my loyalty yet. <laughs> um, no, but again, it's more just it, I just will call judgment, you know, and these judges and these, you know, like I said, the prosecutors, these people involved with these cases, not only mine, but the divine collectives, um, they're going to get their fucking asses handed to them. And I'll make certain of that. Um, and keep in mind, uh, when me papa does give me the authority, I have, you know, the, again, carte blanche to do what I need to do. Um, you know, I, I am a spiritual judge. And on top of that, I am God on earth. And I, <laughs> again, I'm not interested in harming people. I am interested in people doing their jobs. I'm not interested in me ancestors harming people. I'm interested in people doing their jobs. Um, I, the, and as far as the Tillmans are concerned, um, I'm not interested again, they, 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 you'd have to have some really, well, they're, I wouldn't say you'd have to have big balls to reach out to me today. I'd have to I'd just say you're a fucking moron. Um, and obviously these people are morons. They've tried to kill me my whole life, like Ben and Brandon Hill and Jamie Hill and all these people. But anyway, enough of them. I'll talk about them on a different video, but this is just more about the, you know, my brother Pat's birthday and, um, and just how much it means to me to kind of look back. I've been because I've been dealing with this shit for so so I've been dealing with it my whole life but it really started to take it up a notch you know in like the end of 2019 like November October it was really October of 2019 and so you're talking four years now of just fucking heavy well yeah I guess it's still heavy ish but but you're talking four years of just utter psychological and spiritual and emotional warfare that um is just, I don't know, it's a really beautiful fucking situation from my vantage point because I can see how far I've come and how far I've, you know, how much I've grown. And, you know, and I, the fact that all of this started because of Pat um, or my love for Pat, it, well, it started because I'm Yeshua Hamashiach, let's be perfectly clear. It started because Pat was killed because my, the Tillman family was trying to come after me um, and they knew that Pat wouldn't be a part of it, so they killed him. He wouldn't be a part of a lot of different things that the NFL and the, the, the Illuminati and the military wanted him to be a part of. And uh, me and Pat are cut from the same cloth, and that would be the most high's fucking balls. Um, and Pat and I, we're warriors for the most high, and so we do things that, you know, people wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, in my instance, I do things that nobody would ever do. Um, and Pat, and I'm actually the funniest thing about it. All my ancestors, they're like, "That's why you were chosen. That nobody would do what you fucking did down here." And that's a really neat honor for me. Um, and that should scare the fuck out of the Tillman family. It should scare the fuck out of the FBI and the CIA and the Men in Black. Because again, my opinion will change when I'm not in the position I'm in. You know, I'm all light and love, but I know that there's just a bunch of incompetent people that are living their cush lives and are you know. And again. It doesn't bother me. I, the situation I'm in, I'm completely fine with. It's more a matter of people understanding how to not misunderstand what love and light is. I will fucking kill people um, in the spiritual realm, that is. I'm not a fucking loose cannon assassin, or I would have done that a long time ago. The Tillmans wish that I was a fucking loose cannon assassin because then that would have that would help their story. That would help them communicate with judges and different people and say, look... He's incompetent. Now give us his billions of dollars and give us all of his, you know, <laughs> all of his fucking land and property and let us continue to have blood orgies and fuck each other and kill children and drug traffic and work with the Illuminati. Um, 
<laughs> which I the, the judges and the people that signed off on this bullshit without even fucking trying to talk to me, uh, that you guys are going to have real bad fucking karma coming your way, um, which, by the way, is me. Um, and I'm going to triple up some doses on that one because that's just r fucking ridiculous. You paid off fucking punk bitches. Um, and that's something, again, like I said, when I bring up Travis Kelsey, I, he, you, I lump him in with, you know, Steve White and all these other people that Tillman's knew. But you know, the fact that Travis Kelsey, you know, is rock, walking around like he's a fucking rock star when he's just a fucking dorky fuck. Um, like I said, his fucking whore mom is fucking pussy dad. His fat fuck brother. And I can't, I say that just because it's how I communicate. And I know that that's so offensive to call somebody's mom a whore, especially when you're Jesus Christ, especially when you're Yeshua Mashiach. That's such a fucking insult. Um, and that's why I do it. I'm going to take these motherfuckers out. Like Jim Rome, he's somebody who's lucky enough for me to say his name. I'm going to take that motherfucker out because he's gone out of his way to try to say undercutting shit about me. John Krakauer, another fucking pussy fart that I'm going to take out. There's just so many people that I'm going to take out with a smile and me, Papa loves it. And, you know, and more importantly, oh, not more importantly, sorry, Papa, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I would say, and me, Pat loves it. And more importantly, me, Papa loves it. Me, Papa fucking loves it and adores it. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, it has nothing to do with vengeance. It has to do with justice. It has to do with people get, you know, reaping what they sow. That's all that it boils down to. It's not so much that I take the joy in it. I'll just be happy when I'm not dealing with it all the time. I deal with this shit constantly. I had some fucking old lady yesterday come up and try to give me a juice. Like, just blatant as all hell. Like, damn near crashed her car to pull over. I was on my bike. I, you know, I have a beard. I, she doesn't know that I'm. I wouldn't say I'm homeless. I'm houseless. I My home is with me, Papa and me, ancestors and me, archangels. So I'm not homeless. I'm just houseless. And she fucking just pulled up and like, just was like, tried to give me some shirt, which again, that's another spell witch, witchcraft fucking thing. And when I'd said no, she didn't know what to do. And then she's like, I tried to hand me like a Sunny D. And uh, there's a plug for Sunny D. I guess if you're trying to be poisoned with Sunny D, that's not really a plug. But um, it still is in this, in this country and in this world, everything's a plug. If you have the Kardashians are famous saying Sunny D is a plug, but so, um, she tried to give me this fucking poison juice and I'm just like, okay, no, thank you. You know, like, I mean, I was very polite to her and it was really sweet in theory, but there was so many other people that were all sorts of fucked up everywhere. And I'm on a fucking couple thousand dollar bike, um, you know, looking like a god, really, and uh, not looking like I needed anything, and uh, yeah, and it was just kind of a funny thing, and when I didn't, when I turned it down, she just fucking, I just sort of looked at her, and just sort of a note, like, was like, okay, thank you, that's really sweet of you to do this for people, and and then she just kind of knew that it was over, and just would like, not over in that way, but she just fucking was like, she was basically caught, and she knew intuitively, and again, you wouldn't have that feeling if um, you weren't guilty, you know, that was the thing. She just had this super crazy guilty feeling, but that's really what I deal with that shit every day. I deal with it all day. I have demons, you know, constantly. There's, <laughs> speaking of, I'll just go on a little ramble anyways, but, um, but it is obviously all fucking glory to the most high and happy birthday to Pat, but, but I went to uh, sell some sunglasses to this place. They're like brand, I never even opened them. I always have sunglasses. And again, now that I'm fucking, you know, houseless, I have no need for fucking 50 pairs of sunglasses. And anyway, I asked this person at this sunglass place uh, if they would be willing. And they're like pretty expensive sunglasses. And um, the guy's like, well, we don't buy sunglasses. I said, well, I understand that you wouldn't ordinarily. I'm like basically giving them to you for the price that I'm offering to give them to you. I just don't need them. Um, and anyway, he's like, well, let me, t let me talk to the uh, owner. And so the, anyway, finally, a long story short or short story long, rather, the fucking owner finally comes up and he's clearly fucking possessed. He's just a fucking sack of shit. And he's obviously a racist. He's a bunch of things like this guy was a problem. Um, and I just he just sort of was like, he's like, yeah, absolutely not. Um, I was like, oh, OK, well, I just thought I would ask them giving them to you for next to nothing. You're a business owner. So I thought I would. He's like, yeah, absolutely not. I said, I heard you. I said, I just thought you might want to help a brother out. 
I said I'm kind of in a bind and it's a very good deal from your end and I don't see why trying to sell them to someone on the street, which is not my style, would even be, you know, I just said, whatever, fine. Um, and he was like, <laughs> he goes, uh, and I just said, is there a, no, I forget how it, basically he, there was at no, at no price. Like, did he just looked at me? He just didn't want to help my light irritated the fuck out of this guy's demons. Um, which is funny. Cause I, I'll bet you his sunglass place like burns down or something. Me Papa was furious with this motherfucker. Um, because I was super pleasant to him. I was very polite and he was just an asshole and he was in a position to, to do something to help a fellow human. But again, this guy was possessed like nobody's business. Um, and people body jump around me, you know, like, um, this guy was just a straight asshole. He was, a, you know, one of those types of guys from the jump. But when he saw me and I was smiling and, you know, offered him like it bothered him that I was so fair with what I offered him as well. Like everything about me just bothered this guy. Um, on top of it, he had demons in his fucking system. Um, but I deal with that shit all day, every day. And, and like I said, this all started because because of Pat and it happens to be his birthday today. I think he'd be 47 if I'm not mistaken, um, <laughs> which is fucking wild, you know, to think that he's been gone for so fucking long. Um, you know, it's coming up on 20 years now, um, which is just wild. It's so fucking crazy. And again, he was so young when he did all the shit that he did. You know, he was only 27 when he died. That's just bananas to me. Um, and when I say died, he was murdered by his family, the Tillman family. Um, again, here's a little birthday tribute that well to to Pat Tillman, to the baddest motherfucker that I know that has ever lived in the United States, um, <laughs> and that I've ever met personally, is is baddest motherfucker I've ever met personally anywhere on anywhere from my know, from my know, from from my knowledge. <laughs> And uh, this won't be on the news, you know what I'm saying? Like he's, you know, no one will talk about a, a brother's tribute to Pat Tillman and how the NFL fucking, you know, is a part of messing with my sweet divine soul, my baby Taylor, the Tillman family killing Pat Tillman, trying to kill me, the Illuminati being a part of it, Joe Biden and all the his little cronies, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, you know, um, the Gateses, all this shit, Oprah. Um, all these motherfuckers, it's just, it's unbelievable how fucking absurd this situation is. Uh, oh, and by the way, if my phone dies, uh, if you don't see videos, I didn't die. I just, my, me papa told me not to pay my bill, uh, a while ago. And, um, well, he had me pay it one last time before I left Fresno. Um, but if it dies, it just fucking dies. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side. So FBI, CIA, just know if you're not going to get a hold of me, I'm just, you know, it's just going to be more judgment after judgment after judgment. So when people start dying in your office or start getting sick, that might be time to come and fucking give me all my shit um, or start working with me and stop irritating me. And it's not really irritating. It's more just me talking. But um, just rest assured, I nobody's life matters to me um, or, you know, the souls that me Papa takes care of. But people who want to act like demons on planet Earth, I'm going to fucking take you out. That's the end. That's it. I, I don't give a fuck. I've had my family try to kill me for, you know, a very long time. My children at this point have actively tried to fucking kill me. Um, you know, again, I've lost anything and everything. I have nothing. I'm All I'm here to do now is to save the humanity that I can save. Um, and again, it's not about the people. It's about the spirits and principalities, which we've already won. It's just, you know, some of these people's bodies that are, are possessed or are taken over by these demons and shit. Um, they're going to be really fucked up. They're not, you know, that's what happens when you allow a spirit into your body that does awful things and makes awful decisions. I forgive all these people. I forgive my, you know, of course I forgive me, my Gus and Jake. I fucking adore my Gus and Jake, but I forgive the Tillman family. I forgive all of the people surrounding, uh, but it doesn't mean I'll ever be around them. And if they do come near me, like I said, I'll feel physically threatened and I will fucking start knocking motherfuckers heads off. Um, like Patrick Kevin Tillman or Kevin Michael Tillman or Ben Hill or Brandon Hill uh, or any of their fucking, any of those people, BJ Alford, BJ Hartke, um, you prepare to fucking die if you come near me. Prepare to die if you reach out to me. Um, yeah, that's really <laughs> what it is. And a fine happy birthday to my my brother Pat, who I just fucking, again, I, I adore him. Um, and if it wasn't for the way he lived his life uh, and the way he went about making decisions, 
Um, I just learned so much from Pat Tillman. I truly learned so much from Pat Tillman. Um, and he was a gift from the Most High God to be, which I thank me, Papa, every fucking day, multiple times for a lot of different things. But I'm always thanking him for my Pat. But for me, Pat, I just, it's such, it was such a luxury to have Pat as a brother, um, as my only brother, as my fucking only brother. Um, Pat will always be my only brother. Um, he'll be my oldest only brother, even though apparently I had a different one. Uh, but Kevin Michael Tillman is dead to me, and if he ever comes near me, he'll physically be dead. Um, and that is not a threat. That's a fact. That is something Kevin Michael Tillman has fucking done way too much. And if you show up near me, Kevin, I will fucking kill you. Um, <laughs> I know I don't have to worry about it. Pat will kill you before you even get near me, but... Anyways, Pat is my oldest and only <laughs> brother. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just wanted to give a little ramble and have him be more the focal point of it. Um, because he deserves that. And me, Papa said it's cool. He said it was cool. Uh, <laughs> Pat was saying the video started at 840. Uh, or something 40. I don't know what time it is. My car's off. But uh, something 40. And I thought I saw it was 8 before. So, of course it did. Of course it did. Uh, <laughs> anyways y'all i'm gonna go do what i do and i love you um sweet divine soulmate baby i'm coming for you one day you'll get these videos and you'll see that travis is a sack of shit that is fucking with you and that there'll be a paper trail all over the place um fbi cia do your fucking jobs because i really don't like having to call judgment on you all the time um but i'm not gonna think of you motherfuckers today i'm gonna enjoy pat's birthday and um, kick it with Pat and me ancestors and me archangels and obviously the most high God. Um, I'm not going to worry about you fucking evil clowns. I'm going to take the day off with respects to that. So I might not come back on here, um, but I did want to pay tribute to Pat. But um, And if, again, if my phone dies and I'm, that's, I can't do shit about it, or I could, but I'm not going to. Um, so that'll be that until the FBI and CIA step up and do their jobs. Um, and in the interim, um, I'm going to keep calling judgment and make sure you guys get fucked up. And when I have full power, I'm going to fuck you up again myself. Because don't think that I will ever forget how worthless and incompetent you guys have been. Um, and I say that with love. <laughs> I do. I say that with love and I say that with a lot of light. Um, but I do say that with fact. I do say that with fact. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I can't cut my hair. I've left my scissors at my house which was a really bad move, but I think it's also kind of a cool move. It'll be fun to see how long this shit gets and how awesome it gets before you fucking cocksuckers do your jobs. And again, I say that with fact and I say it with love and light. Do your fucking jobs. Um, I don't know if I give the world kisses. <laughs> I know I gave Sweet Divine so many baby kisses, but I got to give the world kisses. I love you guys. I truly do. Um, yeah. Happy birthday to Pat Tillman, the baddest motherfucker I've ever had the luxury of meeting in person. And the fact that he was my oldest brother and only brother, um, just thank you, me, Papa. What a fucking gift. What a gift. And you guys should all thank the Most High for giving Pat Tillman as me as my oldest brother and only brother because it was his example that allowed me to become the great example that I am. And uh, again, and that's all glory to the Most High God. End of story. Plain and simple shit. Um, it's all about Yahweh. All day. Every day. Bye bye. But today, we're going to wish Pat Butt a happy, 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 happy fucking birthday, Pat. I love you, my friend. I love you, my brother. I love you, my guardian angel. Boom. Motherfucking pimp. All right, kids. I'll be chatting with you. Until next time. <laughs>